Hey there, ever wanted to know all about the solenoids in your Boone Eatum Turnlock 100 full height turnstile? Well, today we're gonna teach you everything you need to know. I'm Grizz with the Turnstile crew here at Avant Guard. We bring you the best tips, tools, and products to keep your organization secure and up and running. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to learn more. We also love hearing your suggestions and questions in the comments. If you've not already watched our How To Troubleshoot Your Boone Eatum Turnlock 100 Full Height Turnstile video, please click the link. Today's video will be in two parts. Part one will be how to replace the solenoids, and part two will be how to reconfigure them from fail safe and fail lock. As always, the first step should be to turn the power off to your Boone Eatum Turnlock 100 full height turnstile. Also note, the solenoids may be hot to touch, so use caution. All right, we'll start by removing our cotter pins. And we'll rotate the arm around to get access to the two millimeter Allen bolt. Just want to put some pressure on this large nut to loosen. Remove the plastic clip here so that the solenoid will slide out. Once we remove the ring, trace your wire to know which port it comes out of. We've got solenoid one and installation is reverse of removal. Making note of our plastic washers on the solenoid. lock ring. That's the clip. and replacing our cotter pins. Hiding this bolt, nut. And test for operation. To change the solenoid from fail lock to fail safe, begin by removing the cotter pins, the bolt and nut from the linkage, and the two four millimeter bolts holding the bracket. We will then take the bracket, note the small piece here that is included, will go in the gap there like so. Your linkage will pass under the bracket You can put a cotter pin in there to hold it and replace your four millimeter bolts in the bracket. You want to try to match your angle up as best as possible, but there's always some adjustment to be made after you power the unit on and test. You'll have to order 
part 100-131 for the connecting spring and install it Also make note that your wire is facing up and not facing down because it would interfere with the linkage. The jumper on the main control boards will have to be changed from fail lock to fail safe. And the locking pawl spring will have to be changed on the corresponding lock arm. For reference, if your unit does not have the small spring, that part number again is 100-131, which can be ordered directly from our website linked below. Changing from fail lock would be the reversal of the previous steps. And these new turnstiles will come with that spring inside a baggie, typically located right here. The last thing we need to do is power on the unit and test for preparation. If you need on-site service from one of our turnstile specialists, please contact our service department. If you feel like your turnstile is beyond repair, check out the link in the description for a list of full height turnstiles that are typically in stock at Avant Garden. Hopefully you found this information useful. If so, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. If you have suggestions, please leave those in the comments below and feel free to message us anytime. Thanks for tuning in to the turnstile guys. And remember, stick with the pros. We'll see you next time.